Good afternoon, everybody. Silver Dragon here. Going to be streaming up some Dwarf Fortress once again. Since last time my uh, old fortress uh, died due to a goblin invasion. Since my uh, military was ill-prepared for them. Uh, I'm going to be embarking on a new world today that I've uh, just created. I've been trying all morning, basically, to try and get a world that has necromancer towers so I can embark near them. But for some reason, I just can't get them to generate anymore. I don't know why. I used to see them all over the place, but now they're just not showing up. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but damn, sucks. Oh well, no one dead for me. <laughs> That's a shame. But what can you do? <laughs> Alright. Now I finally decided on this world, because it had... Let me see if I can scroll out. Ah, there it is, down here. It has an evil area down here that also has, like, five goblin strongholds near it. So at the very least, even if I'm not facing undead, it'll at least be a challenge. Still. Dimension of Giffins, or something like that. Shallow metals, deep metals, some soils, clays. Let's see what else we got in this area here. Flux stone and aquifer. It's also a sinister biome. Ooh, I like that. means I'm going to have to use a uh, cave-in to get through the aquifer, but I'll be able to use the aquifer as well for my various evil purposes. And I'll be able to accomplish the same kind of thing I had planned before, but at least this time it's actually going to be easier to do it the way I want it, surprisingly enough. Alright. Uh, let's see. This seems a good one. It's shallow clay, uh, very deep soil. Uh, it's got an aquifer, so before I get down to my... Uh, actual metals and such I'm gonna to need to get rid of the aquifer which is a eh, it's not too difficult now I've gotten used to being able to do it so let's uh, let's give this a shot shall we I'll have to create a secondary uh, tunnel down before I get my main tunnel going so I can uh, have a dig straight down anyway this looks good we have uh, sinister biome once again uh, lots of vegetation lots of trees temperate bi uh, temperate biome uh, and of course it's evil, yeah. Aquifer is a bit to pain, shallow clay, deep metals, flux stone, so... Yeah, this should be good. Let's roll with it. Oh yeah, I forgot to t tab through. Let's see, we got dwarves, goblins, elves. Of course we have goblins. We have enough goblins around here to drown ourselves in. Uh, elevations. Oh, that's interesting. The river is down at zero, and the rest of this is at like five. Ooh. Alright, I'll take that. Embark. It's not like I'll need a river, though, because I do have everything else here. As a matter of fact, why don't I move it off the river anyway? Because we're going to have... Nah, just in case. It's always nice to have a river. Let my guys do some fishing. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm not too sure... I basically am just going to be uh, embarking on here. I'm not, it's gonna be not, not going to be anything too crazy like it was last time. I'm basically mostly going to be embarking with combat dwarves that have very little in the way of actual crafting skills. But are more along the lines of training and such and so forth. Except for, of course, my one administrator. Because we always need an administrator. Alright, this is good enough. Yes, yes, yes. Aquifer, difficult to obtain stone. Don't care. Prepare for your journey carefully. Alright, like this, I'll put uh, two points into mining. So just so he's an adequate miner. And then the rest... I'm going to put into... Axe Dwarf with some skills in teaching so he can teach others adequate teacher and what else do I want an armor user let's see for this one I'm going to go uh, let's see here let's go Competent crossbowmen. And 
what else? Adequate dodger. And I'm looking for ambush. Where is that? Animal trainer. Ah, there we go, ambusher. And I'm going to put two points into masonry. So he's adequate masonry. Uh, so you're going to get spam by anger into badger head, getting mad and calming down. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. But unfortunately, I can't seem to find biomes like that anymore. It's really sad. I was really hoping to find a good evil undead biome, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I'll give this guy just novice woodcutting and such. Yeah, adequate woodcutting carpentry. And what else? I'll make him a uh, competent swords dwarf. He's also an adequate shield user. And, of course, teaching skills. Because he does need to teach me. Actually, what about the last one? I made him really good, but I didn't make it so that he could actually, uh... Damn. Hmm. Teach properly. So I'll have to take it off dodging and put it into teaching. Alright. Now, for this guy, I do need a good farmer. At least a half decent farmer. So let's see here. I have a, one miner, a mason, a carpenter. Now I need a farmer. A grower, herbalist, brewer. Cook. The all around guy. And what's he going to be good at? Let's see. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I guess I'll make him a good. This will be good. I'll make him a, <laughs> excuse me, a decent stone crafter, and then I'll give him hammer skills. Kind of makes sense. I'll make it competent hammerman and add some to teacher. All right. Now for the next one, what do I need? Engraving, building design. I'll probably put one building design. This is going to be my, uh, let's see, what am I going to make you, my friend? Hmm. Wax worker, mechanic. There we go, I'll make him a mechanic. Adequate mechanic. I completely forgot about mechanics, that would have been bad. Uh, butcher, tanner, leather worker. So many decisions. Hmm. Okay, he's a mechanic, a building designer. I guess I'll put uh, some points. No, I don't want to. Don't care. Do I care about engraving? I kind of do. I guess I'll make him an adequate engraver just so he can start off doing uh, making good engravings. And then what else? Uh, I'm gonna put five points into Maceman. Oh, we got all that points. All right, let's see what I can get rid of. I'm only going to have one uh, miner, which is going to make things a little difficult to begin with, but uh, should be all right. Might need an armor smith and a weapon smith. Could be. Or actually, no, I'll remove one battle axe. Raise that up. And actually, did I make... Yeah, that was a mistake I just thought of. Uh, let's see. Leech meat. All right. Cave lobster. Plump helmets. Uh, it's only two quivers. That should be about right. Let's go back. Adequate maceman. There we go. Um, I guess I'll do that. I'll give him novice fighting. And then one teaching. Okay. Now, I gotta check something here. Yeah, I made my main guy a uh, proficient axeman. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done something like, uh, let's see here. Let's make him a... Yeah, let's make him a proficient swords dwarf. That should be good. Because I should give my... Uh, I 
think it's one more. Yeah, my woodcutter. I should be giving him the axe dwarf skills. I mean, really, what is it he uses? His axe. So, yeah. Okay, now for the next two, as you said, I probably do need some uh, armor weaponsmith. Although, I, that I could probably work up later on, because I doubt I'll be making any armor and weapons until I actually get to... Uh, Get my first microwave, so I can also, I can just assign one of them to that. So in which case... I'll make them an adequate, actually let's make them competent gem cutter and setter. And then I'll just add some points into, uh, let's see what looks interesting. Uh, wound dresser, oh I don't have a doctor, I forgot about that. I should be able to make a, uh, well, I guess I'll put the points into, what did I give him, anyway, let's see here. Hmm. You know what, cross that out, cross that out. I'll just have to hope for a better gem cutter and setter. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him mining again, because I do need another miner, to be honest. I don't want to, don't want to screw it up too much without having too many miners, and I can't be able to uh, get rid of the aquifer fast enough. Uh, let's see here. I'll give him concentration and some fighting skills. Okay, fighter. I'll make him an axeman as well. I'm only gonna have the one guy training though, so I'll make him a competent axe dwarf. Adding some armor use skills, and that should be good. Now this one is gonna be purely my. Uh, record keeper and so on and so forth guy so I'm gonna have to put all his skills into just that okay negotiator where's my record keeping skills I know I saw it here a second ago there it is proficient record keeper it's got good concentration leaders leadership skills appraiser I do need to go to appraising Organizer, is that everything? Yeah, negotiator, appraiser, skilled record keeper, good at concentration and leadership. Good. All right, that should be good, hopefully. Let's tab on over and see what I can bring with me. Okay, dogs cost about the same as puppies. So I'll take a male and a female dog. I will take a male and a female cat. What else? Let's see. Water buffalo. Oh, I saw it. There it is. Turkey gobbler. And turkey hens. Four of them. Okay, add new item. Need to go down to my tools, possibly miscellaneous. Splints, crutches. Tools. Here we go. Copper nest box. And that's all I could get with that. Okay. Let's get rid of some of this stuff then, because I do need other things. Oh, uh, definitely need to increase the plump helmet spawn to 20 at least. What else did I want? Oh god, I can't remember now. Bugger. Okay. Increase the dwarven wine supplies. Oh, jeez. It's in the back of my head. I just cannot quite remember it. Oh, yeah. I remember. I want to bring along some early lie. So I'll be able to make a lot of soap when I'm ready. Uh, copper helmets, if you don't have coin skills, helmets save lives. True enough. I doubt I will have enough. <laughs> enough, but I should be able to get a metal industry up pretty early on, hopefully to uh, deal with that kind of issue. Right now I'm just starting, uh, I'm looking for uh, early early stability. So I got the wheelbarrow, I need to tunnel down, uh, clear out the aquifer, get some basic rooms set up quickly. Copper battle axe, copper pick, yeah, two picks, good. Anvil, ale. Uh, seeds are good. I guess I'll take some more Cave lobster with me. Anything else? 
Probably not. So I'll just dump the rest into beer. Alright, that should be good. Let us, uh, let's see. I guess we could name the group, see if we can get a good name. Let's go random, until we find something cool. The Geared Halls, the Mines of Artifice, Lancer of Hope, the Great Paint, Lancer of Weight. Ah, the Prestigious Hammers. I like that. Germinal, or it's, yeah. Yeah, Geminal, or Geminal, or some of that, uh, the Prestigious Hammers. Not too bad. I like it. Let's roll with it. And, uh, let's see, a uh, fortress name. Uh, Fikdost Glaze Folded. Okay, I guess that works. Seems more interesting than the first one, which just seemed random. Ah, uh, I did bring dogs, yes, Malik. I always gotta bring dogs. Always. Alright. I do not have a tamer, but I, I could just assign that to my first uh, embarkador, first uh, wave of dwarves. Alright, that should be good. Let's start the embark. And pray I've got everything right. Did you know that nine out of every ten embarkments end in complete disaster? <laughs> awesome. I can't wait to see what awaits us here. <laughs> oh, hey, we got the writhing tentacles again. Lovely. Ooh, I like this valley here. I totally see myself clearing it out, but it ends. Actually, it ends right about there. It's not too bad. And above that is even more valleys. Okay, I'm about to watch out for that, though. What about over here? What do we got over here? Same thing. All right. In which case. Let's start our little uh, fortress up here. I'm gonna toss a stock, general stockpile here uh, quickly. Custom stockpile settings. Enable. Enable. All right. I'll we'll just toss that right here for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Get them to move everything into place. Alright, so I'll have them mine out this bit right here. Actually, do I want them to make... Hmm. Nah, it doesn't matter. Make it four wide. I'll add a little uh, guard training uh, chambers on each side, although it'll end up pr probably being... Uh, There we go. Should be good. And I guess, let's see here. Actually, I'm gonna put this on the other side because I need a place to start a farm over there. Depending. So let's remove this bit. Actually up to here, because I want to create a hallway so I can see what's going on in this area. Okay, it should be good right now. Let's designate a couple trees to be chopped down. As I do need some wood to begin with. Even if it's only a few uh, trees. That uh, should be sufficient for now. Alright, resume. Get to work, dwarves! And let's create a, uh, oh, the lovely writhing tentacles. And the interesting thing is I can actually assign my animals to be specifically on top of those, and it will remove them. All right. Good, they're digging that out. Let's create a small little place here. Pen pasture. All my turkeys in there. Build nest boxes. Nope. Excuse me. And a 
they'll put them in place. So I'm still waiting for them to unload the last nest box. Alright, let me create another quick little zone here. Alright, that'll be another pasture. And we'll put the yak cow and the horse in here. That should be good. Alright, they're slowly moving everything there. Ha! Ah, see me. Okay, looks like it's mostly stone here. In which case... If I go up a floor, so let me designate upward stairway. Uh, downward stairway. And then some tunnels. And this I'll probably uh, wall off and set it straight down like I usually do. Alright, so I'll have a quick farm going up here soon. Resume. I think I'll carve a lot of fortification. I'll like channel this entire valley and then carve fortifications along the sides. Hello, Alcazath. How's it going? And actually, I just realized something as well. I never named my dwarves. Oh, okay. There we go. So let's see here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna name myself after the record keeper. It's gotta be him right here. If I'm not mistaken. Social skills. Yep, thought so. And for profession, let's see. Custom profession. Keeper. Keeper of the books. No, damn it. Oh well, I'll have to come up with a better one. Alright, so I will dwarf you all. Let's see, you can be one of my miners. I'll give you the male miner. Alright. Alkazath, I will set you up as my farmer, I suppose. And Malik, let's add you as hmm, stone detailing, mechanics, architecture. Ah, uh, no, let's give you let's give you the uh, woodcutter. There we go. For the love of beer, indeed. Okay, so I now have all of those ones named. For the rest, I guess I'll just add uh, randomly. Uh, let's make my other miner. And this one. And for the last one. Okay, career changes. Perfect, so they're all named now. Perfect. Okay, they're working on the stairs. He should be heading up there hopefully in a moment to uh, start building things. Let me start getting some craft shops made. Let's get a carpenter's workshop. Make it out of diorite. Let's get. A mason's workshop, out of diorite, craft storks workshop, the rest I'll put inside I think, but except for the, uh, where is it, what am I looking for, ah, the mechanics workshop is T, okay, anything else right now, no, it should be perfect for now, okay, resume. And you can remove the wagon as well. Destroy the wagon! So they should get to work on those buildings momentarily. 
Ah, this will be done in no time since it is, uh, actually, what is this here? Ah, silt loam, or yeah, clay loam. Hmm. I can't go any further forward here. So this is where I'm going to have to make my descent into the darkness. Okay. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to put it right there. I'm going to have to do this at least. So I have a nice, let's see. Let's remove this for a moment. Let's see, that's a three by four. I don't really want it three by four. And that's a little excessive right there. But that'll make me... If it falls through, yeah, it had to be four. Her. Let's see. I guess I'll remove all this. I don't really... Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Take off this chunk here. Create a small room here. Basically, I just want this to move the trading indoors later on. Alright. Guess I'll put it like this then. And I'll curve my mine off to the side, like so. Alright. So let's channel downwards, downward stairway. And see where that aquifer is. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Alright. Let them get to work, get their things done. While I observe how they're doing up front. They have got a couple workshops built, Crafts Dwarf, Mason. Uh, Carpenter's Workshop still needs uh, someone to get to work on it. Need some tables and chairs built. You never have enough beer, that is true enough. And yet they always seem to go for the water regardless after a while. Ooh, let's see what kind of company I have here. Uh, two ravens and a great horned owl. Ooh, I'd like that. I always want to catch those great horned owls, but I've yet to succeed at doing so. I need to put random traps all over my all over the place again. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's me. No job. Expedition leader. Yeah, he doesn't really have many jobs right now. Since I can't have him doing record keeping until I get a table and a chair for him. Extend this out a wee little bit. Well, nah, actually should be fine, should be fine, alright, <laughs> let's see, uh, I really wish he would finish one corner so I could actually get to work on uh, putting down a plot, because I don't want to put it in an odd location, come on, yeah, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted, okay, Bill, farm plot, 4x4, four there we go, now my farmer can get to work. The funny thing is, my dwarves have all these uh, weapon skills, and I didn't actually bring any weapons with me that they could wield except for axes. Alright. Looks like I need to go. Well, that should be good for now. And let me create a stockpile here. It's going to be a food stockpile. That will reside up here. Well, this should do it roughly this wide. Now for the custom settings on that. Let me lower the barrels. That's allowed to about... Uh, 15 should do. Or no, let's go 10. Yeah, and add a couple bins into there. 
Now, settings. Food. Forbid. Okay, plants and seeds. Settings. Food. What am I doing? Plants. Seeds. There we go. So now they should all be moved to there. Hopefully that'll give my guy a job to do. Let's build some stills and other various workshops in here for them. Uh, let's see, still. I like my stills right next to the... Uh... Now I need... What else? What else do I need? Uh, where is it? Farmer's workshop? Don't really need that. I do need a kitchen though. Okay. Perfect. Let him get to work. Has my carpenter. Yes, finally finished that. Make seven beds, please, and thank you all. Well, some tendrils. Yeah, we do got some tendrils. No, actually, I don't actually have a lot of tendrils. I remember when I had that giant, like, carpet of tendrils before. That was a hell of a lot. But, yeah. This one isn't too bad. Dense, wormy tendril. I wonder though, they're kind of poking up out of the ground in random locations, so I wonder what's uh, underground then. It's probably like growing up from underground. Um, did I? Pretty sure it was a still. Oh, you're right. Weird. Huh. Workshop. Stills and L. Alright. Damn, I'm really derping up there. Okay, let me set up what needs to go here. Obviously, to begin with, as I always do, I'm going for the pure plump helmet approach. At least on one... Or I'd say at least on two farms. Pure plump helmets, and I can start getting some uh, uh, pigtail fibers for the other. Let's see here. Let's get some rock crafts going already. Early on, so I'll have a lot of them when the dwarves come. Or when whoever comes. Okay. And I'm going to build the trade shop indoors. Or trade depot, I should say. Capital D. Actually, yeah. Make it so it's surrounded by two width on each side. Okay. Perfect. Uh, do we have our... Oh, cloud of unholy murk has drifted nearby. Unholy. Okay, that sounds interesting. That sounds like something that could turn my dwarves into undead. Yeah, I might be careful of that. Interesting. So I guess I might have undead after all. Oh hey, turkey, hen, and gobbler, wild animals. Cool. Quick, send me into the murk to investigate. <laughs> uh, I probably, I probably could too. But I'd rather not lose you right now, or any of my primary dwarves. I need them for combat training. Okay. Got a couple beds made. Only one bed made, correction. Alright, he's hauling off the table, that's good. Where's that aquifer at? No idea yet. Okay, so... I'll make this one into the dining hall. Yes. This one, sure, I'll make it to a little dining hall. Assign the table to myself. And the study. Assign chair to myself. 
All right, now I get to work. Noble screen, expedition leader, broker, me, bookkeeper, me, manager, also me. All right, militia commander. Let's see, I guess I'll get my uh, first uh, set to be a hunter. Actually, you know what? Sheriff. Chief Medical Dwarf. I have no one that has any medical skills, so there's no point in that right now. Alright. Yeah, this could be my uh, main dude for now. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, yes, I forgot. I have to go into the settings here and go for the highest precision. All counts must be kept at the highest precision. Resume. All right. Chair. Oh. There we go. Perfect. So I'm now going to keep all the records uh, going here. Should all be correct momentarily. Oh, I have to check up here. So still no aquifers. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I know the aquifer layer is around there somewhere, but I guess I have enough stone here that I can start working uh, without it. Okay, <clears throat> so the question is now, how exactly do I want to set this up? What do we got here? Diorite, we have some uh, theta, or theta hydrite that we found. Quartzite walls. All right. Guess this should be well. At this point, then, if it's not going to go any further than that, I'm going to create upward stairway. I'm going to cut it off right there and start building here. Okay. As per my usual style, I will have two large chambers on each side, one for storage and one for the actual crafting. All right. This side's going to be for storage. Although I'll cut off a good section of this for now. As well as this. I only need a few, or a bit of the area here for the, uh, whoop, for my uh, workshops right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Actually, for once, That'd be interesting, actually. Let me create a little divider here. All right, upward stairway. Because I went down so many for once, instead of going down constantly, like making it uh, my crafting, then my living quarters, then so on and so forth or whatever, I'm gonna go upwards. All right, so from that, I need a downward stairway right here. As well as a mine, I'm going to move myself away from that, which will lead, actually let me, I got an idea for this, let's go down like this, should be good. And, like 
like so. Oops, too much. That's probably too wide too. I'm trying to balance it. Oh, I forgot to. There we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely too wide on this side. By at least two, I guess. No more than that. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see. That should make this even. Now, let's see, how do I want to design this? That could be my uh, usual. Like so. Enough room for two chairs and a path in between. I'll be able to mess with the middle of it. That looks interesting enough. Okay. There we go. And... Yeah, because the next one would cut off, like, right here. So for the center area, let's see where the actual exact center is, if I have an exact center. So I don't. It's a shame. I have to put it roughly right here then. It should work. I'm going to put statues right beside it. And uh, we'll have uh, areas here for... Like... Uh, Royal dining chambers, I guess you could say. Oh, no, I should have gone down one. There we go. I'll have all my important dwarves here, and we'll be surrounded with all kinds of loveliness. Right in the center here will be the well. Although it seems... Yeah, no matter what I do, it's off by at least one on either direction. Bugger. Um, well, let's see here. You could also put an arena here. Hmm. So many different choices to make. Only way this game could work in multiplayer co-op with the same fortress really, don't ask me how viable that would be. Honestly, I've thought about it and there's like no real way to make that work as far as I can think of. Uh, how would I get this going? Hmm. Only one way I can think of. stairway. There we go. Now that doesn't look half bad. still have the issue of how to put a well here. I could put four wells, I suppose, but it wouldn't quite work out that well. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll just line the center with statues or something. Alright, what 
such case, I'll have a small room down here then, which will be for the well. And then over here, <laughs> excuse me. Or actually, where is my farm? Alright, so my kitchen will have to go right here then. Let's see, no that won't work out. sizable kitchen which will also lead into the uh, food stockpile or actually let's even this up properly okay massive stu food stockpile which I will need for later. I can probably cut this bit off for now, but I'll bring it back later. Let me reduce this to there and see, ooh, that would be perfect. Upward stairways, down stairways. Downward stairway. Alright, of course I'll just cut this off for now, as I don't really need them working on a lot of this yet. Oh, uh, cut this bit off for now. And then I'll be working on the uh, living quarters down here. I'll have this main hall continue for a bit, and then several smaller branching ones off of that. Actually, I probably don't even need them this big. Yeah, two should be sufficient. Okay. And I could go for the simple way or the interesting way. Right now, let's cut this bit off, and this bit off, <clears throat> excuse me, as I only need some small rooms. I could do it like this, I could do it like this, if I so wished, or even this. Tough choice. I guess I'll make it look like an actual room. So that way I can add some nice uh, things to it later. Kind of like how I do my tombs. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Finish off the line.
No, I won't cut off the kitchen as well. Alright. That should be good enough for now. Of a design. It started raining. Yay, rain! Will my dark flies bury him in a room full of beer, please? Alright. Sure thing. A lot of uh, waiting. Yeah, that's the thing. And anytime I hit Q, it pauses the game. So if I'm wait, if I'm waiting for something to happen that I, in a project that I started, and the other guy hits Q, the entire world is gonna pause and be like, "Dude, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this thing filled." So yeah, I could, I could, it, I could see it working in a way, but only to speed things up a bit. Uh, what a way to go, marinated in beer. <laughs> uh, well, if only I could actually drop, like, if only I could fill a room with beer, if, like, drop casks uh, down a chute so that when they hit the floor, they explode and they're, uh, uh, the alcohol inside actually uh, drips into the area. I would totally uh, bombard your tomb with beer until it fills up. Yeah, only works with a good friend. So the best, the best bet right now, or the only real viable option for multiplayer, is the succession game. It really is the only viable way of doing it. Okay, now that we have this nice and cut off. Eventually, when they actually get around to doing it. Ooh. Interesting. I'm getting some damp stone warnings here, which means above this might be the aquifer. Oh, wait. Good. Well, I found the aquifer. Run, fools. Abandon this whole section. What part of that don't y'all get? Go, 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 retreat. Okay, so. In which case... that then. I'll have to move my crafting over to here. Hopefully without issue. It might be though, we'll have to see. The aquifer could be here as well. So I'll cut this bit off for now and let them dig out the rest. That'll be nice and flooded soon. Oh well, at least I found the water to make my well. Combination of succession and RT co-op that requires some kind of central storage point. Jump in when you got time. Both ends. Yeah, basically the way the succession game works, if you don't already know, is uh, you take a uh, basically you get like a Dropbox account uh, where you can drop a, a file and uh, use it later or just. And you can you can assign it to other people as uh, people access. They can also uh, 
drop the files into there. Uh, so you give it to one guy for a maximum of up to a week time. He has up to a week's time to go through a year of fortress life. What's this? Well, that's not good. If this is made, out, if this whole thing's made out of clay, I'm gonna have to build my dining hall somewhere else because I need to smooth it out. Crap! All this work toward this, and I'll have to move it lower. Yeah, I don't trust this part now, so... Oh, crap, it sucks. I, can't, I wish I could copy-paste as well. Interesting things in the succession board, indeed. And uh, sometimes they take the uh, extra, or like actual extra effort into it, and uh, make it like a uh, RP succession fort, in which they will uh, mention all the crazy things that happened in uh, interesting ways. Like you should see some of the dialogues that they've made for those. Zircon. Good for the Zircon. Now, why have he, has he not planted his stuff? So distracted by that, but all this. The bedroom. Dormitory, yes. They really do need to come back up here and finish their original work. A lot of unholy murk has drifted nearby. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully it stays away from my dwarves. Chop down more trees. And the trees in here as well. There we go. All right. Try and repeat this again. It's off by one. All right.
Whoops, too high. Slightly too high. Okay, get the usual tossed in here. By five. And there we go. Five. There's the third one. I'm just going to do it from below since I already started that way. Oops. Perfect. Now I'm going to side. Make magnificent dining rooms. Okay. Now, just like before. I'm gonna create a small room over here for a well. And a bunch of statues and such and so forth. And I'm gonna let them do this before I do anything else because I don't wanna, I don't wanna get another aquifer uh, pit, uh, showing up in here. So I'm gonna make sure that they can dig this out before I do anything else. All right, water's filled up there. Hopefully they won't actually go down there and hopefully it won't uh, somehow be pressurized and come up to the next floor. It shouldn't, but you can never tell with those things. Where are my miners at? Where is everyone at? Sleeping, carving upward staircase. Okay, now he's going down there. I should probably set up uh, my zooms properly. So, hotkeys. Zoom here. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Yeah, I definitely can't wait to get my first uh, migration wave. Uh, tables, carpenters, workshops, not doing anything anymore. Let's make some more barrels. What the hell is my farmer doing? Ah, oh, Kazath, what you doing, man? Get to work, boy. Wait, what? I made you my stone crafter? That's why. The hell was I thinking? No wonder you're not getting anything done. Jeez, that's fail. Mechanics workshop. There we go. 
And what else am I looking for? Oh yeah, so we're gonna see what other animals are in this area right now. Barn Owl Unholy Muck Thrall. I knew it! Yeah, if you get into the unholy muck, you turn undead. That's not good. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, attacks Barn Owl, Muck Throw all scrambles away. Militia Commander throws the Barn Owl at the, uh, by the beak. Uh, with his right upper arm. Charges the Barn Owl. Uh, Barn Owl counter strikes and scratches the Militia Commander and left lower leg from behind. Uh, bruising the muscle. Uh, attacks, oh, snatches at Militia Commander in the right foot. From behind with his first toe, left foot, bruising the muscle. Uh oh. Militia Commander is no longer stunned as the Barn Owl latches on firmly. Breaks the grip of it. Uh, looks like right now the uh, Barn Owl is winning. Hmm. Yeah, the Barn Owl is definitely winning. Alright, military. All right, you lazy buggers. Congratulations, you're all in the military. Opposed to life. There we go, now as all my dwarves gang up to attack it. I don't know how they're going to manage it though, because this thing is... They're basically wrestling with an undead owl right now. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, they're all wrestling with it. Yeah. Wow. Barn Owl uh, bites the Mark's door for the upper body, bruising the muscle and bruising the liver through the eagle leather cloak. Uh, latches on firmly, Mark's Dwarf breaks it, uh, Sword Dwarf punches him in the, uh, left wing with the right hand with the attack glances away. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna be bad because I don't know if they will survive this. They're all just, like, punching the thing and it's doing nothing as it spites and claws and scratches us. Let's see here. Does it have any wounds on it whatsoever? Oh yeah, it's got lots of wounds. But I don't think it's going to make a damn difference in the world. Let's see. Hammer Dwarf bites the unholy Barn Owl thrall in the lower body, tearing the muscle, tearing apart the guy, yeah, and bruising the guts. Hammer Dwarf latches on firmly. Mace Dwarf grabs the unholy Barn Owl by the throat with his right lower arm. Wow, this is interesting. Uh, oh wow. Barn Owl bites uh, Axe Dwarf in the head, bruising the muscle. But the uh, Axe Dwarf managed to break the uh, grip on his head. Uh, let's, let him, let's let him fight out a bit more and see if they actually win. Doesn't seem to be all that healthy or effective for that matter. Not really, no, but it will be raising my guy's wrestling up through the roof. Oh, great. Luckily, this isn't near my dwarves. There it is. They're still wrestling with it. Came a wrestler. Let's see here. Proficient wrestler, talented wrestler, competent wrestler. Mace Dwarf, Hammer Dwarf. Okay then. Who is it that was good with axes? Malik. Well then, my friend. Why? All right. Let's remove that. 
Maybe that'll mean he'll now actually use his bloody weapon. I have no clue though, to be honest. Okay. Reports. Wrestler strangles the barn owl's throat, tearing apart the uh, feather and denting the skin. The wrestler strangles them by the throat again, tearing apart the skin, tearing apart the skin. Wrestler gouges the unholy barn owl thralls right eye with his left hand, tearing it apart. Expedition leader strangles the barn owl's throat, tearing apart the skin. Wow, it's like seriously, we're just like wrestling with it, tearing at its throat and its eyes and everything. We're just like four dwarves just like trying to strangle this freaking barn owl to death. It's so funny. Wow, and I can't leave it alone because I my guys won't work. All right. I'll just leave the one there to do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, add new burrow. I'll just have them go into here for now. that would get my civilians out of there, but they don't seem to be listening. Huh. We've taken a few hits, but yeah. Even now, they don't want to leave. They keep fighting the damn thing. Gouges, Mason gouges his left eye with his left hand uh, tearing it apart. Ouch. Seriously, we just, it's impossible to kill this thing right now. How do you choose? Basically, you can go into the settings for it and equipment and tell them specifically to equip a weapon. The problem is that sometimes if you don't do it for everybody and you don't do it correctly, they'll get confused and they won't equip their weapons. It's, military is such a difficult and annoying beast at times. I think my, my, my entire fortress here may starve to death or die of dehydration trying to kill an undead freaking barn owl. Wow, that would be sad. Because they aren't doing anything. I told them I, I gave them or I let them go from the military, but they're still staying in the military and they won't go back to work. If only Malik had actually used his uh, copper battle axe like he was supposed to. He was equipped, yeah, he yeah, must have had it equipped because he was chopping down trees. So why the hell didn't he use it? Hmm. Drives me nuts. Oh well. You just made a world found a necromancer tower? Well, crap. I, I've generated like five or six worlds and did not find a single necromancer tower. Drove me absolute, drove me absolutely nuts. Oh wow! Pushes upper body. All you can do is push. There we go. Uh, militia commander hacks the barn owl unholy thrall in the upper body with his copper battle axe, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the gizzard. Okay, so now that he's actually hacking at him, hopefully he will uh, finish him off soon. So we can get back to what we were doing. Tch. First world I made, yeah, I guess you were lucky then, I don't know. You using the newest version, 3411? Give him a bit. Silver Dragon Expedition Leader is no longer enraged. 
Uh, let's see. Strangles them. The copper battle axe is larger. Let's see here. Oh, I see. Upper body with copper battle axe tearing apart the muscle. The lodge my weapon firmly in the wound. So now this uh, this this freaking undead barn owl now has my axe embedded in it to the point where my guy just started wailing on him again because the axe was embedded in him. You'd think this thing would be nothing but mush by now. Oh man. Craziness, son. Like, just kill the thing already. Uh, gouges the left eye again. We just keep gouging the eyes, gouging the eyes. Strangle them. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Alright. I still have to recover all my animals, and hopefully they're not on dead animals. Oh my god, one freaking stupid barn owl gets caught in that, and now I'm screwed because I chose not to uh, bring anything with me. At least my guys are now all elite wrestlers. Let's take a look at this, too. Three dwarves, military skills. Look at this, look at this! They're level 17 legendary fighters. 18 legendary fighters, 20 legendary plus 5 fighter, uh, legendary plus 5 wrestlers. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. Wow. Man, I'm just gonna have to equip these guys like adamantine armor and just send them out there to wrestle all, the, all my enemies to death. That is, if they ever get away from this damn thing. I'm gonna have to wait for the uh, next embark of dwarves or to get anything done. Dwarf seals, yes. And they also have training too, so now they'll probably be training insane wrestling skills. Oh, I wish, I wish that he would w just pick up his axe again, and finish this damn thing off, chop it in the brain, for the love of God, somebody. Commander hacks him in the upper body again, tearing it and lot, losing the axe. Jeez. I guess I'll look around the area then. There's nothing else to do right now. Oh, great. A cloud of unholy murk. Oh my god. Would it not Summer suck? I'm just thinking, would it not suck if... I had an unholy, unholy cloud suddenly roll over my dwarves right now, and I just created an unstoppable army of super elite, undead, wrestling, fighting Mara dwarves. That would be crazy. Alright. Why won't you just finish it? Goddamn. One undead. Frack, why didn't I bring more weapons with me? Rage at self. Rage. Oh well. We're pretty much going to be wrestling with this thing forever. I think at this point. I'm surprised they haven't starved to death yet. hungry, thirsty. My guys are going to starve to death before they finish this thing off. It's not that the owl regenerates, it's just it can't die. Because I need a hammer. I need to use a hammer to kill it, otherwise it will not die. 
Uh, let's see. Upper body is bruised. Left upper leg is bruised. He's just bruised. He's not really even that hurt. Quite fine. Complained of hunger lately. Complained of thirst lately. Slept in a proper room recently. Yeah, they're going to be wrestling with this damn undead owl until they die. Charges him in the right eye, gorges him, uh, strangles him. It's like if they, if only their uh, their wrestling actually allowed them to break bones or something or sever nerves, like tear a ten off or something. For the love of God. Oh, uh, me. Like I've got nothing to do but wait now until they finish this, and they're never gonna finish it. So I honestly don't know what to do. I've got seven dwarves trying to strangle this bloody owl to death, and it's just, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, yeah, this fight is taking too much time. It's never if it's not over by now, considering their skills, it's not gonna be over. It's just not gonna happen. There we are, I removed all my dwarves from military service. Hopefully that means they'll get their ass out of here, even though it won't. I mean, even though they won't. Uh, let's see, strangles, strangles, strangles. Right now they're all trying to strangle them in the throat and put their fingers through its eyes constantly, and it's not doing anything. can't get them to stop. Well, my dwarf's gonna die of hunger and thirst because they can't kill a single freaking owl. It seems. Undead owl. Wow, what a start for this fortress. Amazing. I definitely gotta re-embark here to take this place over again. Alright. Next time, though, I gotta make sure to bring some bloody weapons for them and specifically assign it to them. Let's see now. Yep, they're all ma almost maxed out here and fighting and dodging now. Yeah. Legendary plus five wrestlers, all of them except for this guy. Oh, Blackwing, I guess you're not. Oh, wow, look at that. You're almost a. Uh... High Master Axe Dwarf, though. I guess that's a good thing. If we actually do eventually get to going with this. Yeah, if we actually uh, manage to survive this somehow, then your guy is going to be pretty badass. To say the least. Girl. Aww. Damn. It's like putting them in the military does nothing, taking them out of the military does nothing, so what do you do? Oh, I've got nothing. Touched by Barn Owl. Oh, it's like they were trying, but they couldn't do anything. They couldn't move. Uh, I need a migration of dwarves to help with this fight. Hopefully they bring weapons. Because this is just not happening right now. I'm going to be wrestling this thing forever at this point. Or, God, I would love to get a uh, trade. Oh... Let's 
Jiffy will build that. Oh! Resastry feeding Graver has died of thirst. Here it goes. It's starting. Malak has died of thirst. More migrants. Oh, a little too late, migrants. Everyone's dying of thirst now. I only got like. No, I got six migrants. One's a really good weaponsmith, but I already lost Malik and the other one, so yeah. Raz. Oh. Frack. Yeah, I think this is pretty much done. They're never going to be able to get to work now, and they're never not going to be able to kill the thing. So there's almost nothing I can do, pretty much. Shite. Yep. Everyone's dying of thirst now. Am Divided died of thirst. Everyone's dying of thirst. Alkazath died of thirst. Oh, uh, the horror. Yeah, that's that's pretty much done. They're they're not gonna be able to do anything to that. Frack! Should have brought some bloody weapons with me. Well, that's how you fail a fortress early on. Now, let's see about reclaiming it and bringing some bloody weapons with me this time. The owl killed us. Well, it's not that the owl killed you. That owl was disabled long, long time ago. It couldn't do anything. It was a bloody mess of pulp that was still twitching around and they wouldn't leave it alone until it was absolutely dead, unfortunately. So yeah, region four. Four fortress. Reclaim. Alright. Prepare for the journey carefully. Now. This time I'm just going to do it my usual way, I guess. I'm going to go proficient uh, miner. That's all he needs. This one I'm going to adequate mining. Excuse me. And I'm going to go hammerman. Proficient hammerman. And then for the next one, I want adequate wood cutting and carpentry. Since we're going to be dealing with undead, I'm going to make them all pretty much hammermen. Adequate hammermen. Fighting. Dodging. And teaching. Okay. Next one, I'm going to have to make my... Where is he? Where is he? Ah, here we go. Proficient grower. You know, I'm just going to do it the uh, usual way for this guy. Competent brewer. And... I'll put at least one point into... Uh, Hammerman. Alright, next one is going to be Mason. Adequate Mason. Competent Stone Crafter. And where's Building Designer actually? And a. Uh, let's go Novice Building Designer. This would be anything too interesting. Hammerman, skilled. I'll take one off that and put it in the fighter. Okay. Next one is going to be. I have Mason, Carpenter, Miners. What else? And the Crafter, yes. Need to get rid of some stuff. I'll get rid of the axe, Copper Battle Axe. Iron Anvil. Uh, I'll get rid of that. 
I should have some stuff that will be there waiting for me as well because I am reclaiming the fortress, so there should be some stuff lying around. I'm not going to bring any quivers with me. No splints, no nut. Wheelbarrow. No, I can make a wheelbarrow in two seconds if I need to. Okay, back to the dwarves now. Make him a good uh, gem cutter and setter so we can get some uh, good stuff to begin with. I'm also going to, of course, hammer him in. And for my last one, nothing but the record keeping and all the other good stuff. Okay. Uh, proficient negotiator. I'll say skilled negotiator. Competent appraiser. Competent record keeper. Let's see, I'll pick one down from that, one down from that, one down from that. And put them in uh, concentration, leader. And actually, I'll put the other one into negotiating again. Or no, organizer. There we go. Alright. Now, let's name these guys. This, of course, is going to be me. Customize. Nickname. Alright. Now, who wants to be my miner? My first miner. Let's go DOK DK Rag, since you said first. And then my second miner, I'll go Alkazath. Now, of course, the brewer is going to be Blackwing Damage again. Cutter. I'll rename that under after Malik, I guess. All right, here's my grower and brewer. So, customize name. There we go. Then for the other two, Mason. Customize nickname. Peasant. Okay, this one. Customize nickname. There we go. Good enough. Everyone's named now. Now, I want to bring some hammers along with me, if at all possible. As well as, of course, dogs. Cats. And the usual turkeys and hens. Well... Uh, turkeys and, uh, yeah. Turkey gobbler and turkey hands. Okay. Don't bring any of that. New. Weapons. Copper war hammers. I'll bring out five copper war hammers. So that we have plenty. Actually, I'll bring six. Alright. Two picks, uh, a lot of ale, that's good. You gotta bring a lot of plump helmet seeds. Uh, I do need my, well, I probably have some already there. Yeah, let's bring that anvil back with me. New, let's see, tools, tools, where's my tools? There we go. Copper nest box. I'll probably find the ones that were left behind, but I don't want to risk it. Ten lie. I'll bring more pond turtles with me. And I guess the rest I'll just dump into beer. Sounds about right. Okay, hopefully that's everything I need. 
Good luck this time, dwarves. We'll see if that undead is still sitting on the ground there. Nothing here. Good. Uh oh, there's Brad's and everyone else. All the previously deceased ones. In which case, I need to get some coffins going here quickly. Let's get this dug out. Whoops, not that bit. Alright, uh, let's see, something like this. Alright, now I need to do a map-wide claim on everything. Whoop, from the top, or bottom left corner, right corner, to the top left corner. Alright, that should claim everything. So, D. Capital D. I want this to be right in the center here. And have two all around it, so. Remove this. I want it to designate, remove designations. That should fit now perfectly in the center. No, nope, actually, I do need to go up one. Ah, okay. I guess I was right after all there. Okay. Needs door. Uh, let's get a general stockpile going here again. Custom stockpile settings. Enable. Everything. Okay. I'll place that right there. And luckily those nest boxes are still there, so I got extra ones now for, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Any dwarf a lasher and a whip? I've, not often have I been able to find that. I can't actually make the whips, I don't think. So probably not for right now, no. Um, what else do I need to do now to completely fix this whole horrible mess? Yes, pasture. Uh, horse and a water buffalo. Okay, what's left? What's left? Uh, well, I'll let them dig this out and I'll work my way from there. Probably have to redesign everything down here again, I'd guess. Oh, yes. I most definitely will have to. Logger. Oh, well, I guess it's okay. Uh, let's get a new stockpile over here for now, I guess. And we will put settings, disabled, enable corpses and refuse. So they can haul my guys over. I should have just ended it and then had the chance before, had the chance of suddenly getting legendary uh, wrestlers with me on my fortress. I think one of them may have survived. Let me take a look at this U list, deceased list. Yeah, one still survived, so it's possible that I could get him back eventually. We'll see. Malak's partial skeleton. Okay. What else needs doing? Okay, they're getting that done. Uh, carpenter's workshop, mason's workshop, I need doors right now. Uh, 
I, I didn't make anybody a mechanic, unfortunately. Uh, connect, read them up. Let's see here. You can do mechanics, my friend. Commit changes. Alright, resume. But I will... Put this over here. Meeting hall. Dormitory. Well, you know what the uh, dwarf said when I first embarked on that other one there? It says 9 out of 10 uh, embarks are complete and utter failures. Okay. Make it into a study. Assign myself. Noble screen. Manager. Me. Broker. Me. Bookkeeper. Me. Settings. Highest precision. Get to work. Sure that was yeah all right uh, let's see it'd be nice to see what goods we have in the area okay these are all still set up to work properly in which case let me get my farmer going how do you black wing Alright, I need to reset up the stockpile in here. Settings, food. Oh, let's see. Everything except for seeds and plants. this one, food, I will just forbid seeds and plants. Alright. The main thing I want them to do, once they're done that, is remove all of these darn inclines so I can make my fortress a little bit safer. Oh, there's the wheelbarrow. There's a lot of different things they have to claim. So they'll be quite busy. Alright. To work, you dwarves. Let's see here. Up down stairway. That's pretty much set in stone right now. Okay, good. Oh, my dwarf goes on, goes into a fey mood and creates a legendary expo from my bones. <laughs> that would actually be pretty damn funny. I have to say, Alkazath, that would be really funny. But I'll definitely be telling, uh, or, uh, mentioning the legend of the uh, undead barn owl that kept my dwarves distracted for so long that they starved to death as they were trying to get, as they were becoming legendary wrestlers, trying to gouge its eyes out constantly or wring its neck when they couldn't do so. Uh oh. Military alert. I want to get them inside. I don't want to risk them getting hit by that cloud. Uh oh. Let's get travel right over to Kitty Cat. Get inside now. 
I don't want to be fighting an undead cat. There goes the cloud. Oh, it's going to hit the horse. Yeah, it's going to hit the horse. Oh, this isn't good. And the turkeys. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. For the love of God, create a squad. Cloud seeping in. It's almost hit my dwarves. Okay, let's see what happened. Uh, water buffalo, cow, and holy turkey hen opposed to life. Cat opposed to life. Oh god, I have three undead now I have to deal with. Frack me. Stray horse has been found dead. Uh oh. Oh god, what happened there? Resastrophe has been struck down. Oh wow, this this embark is too evil. It's just too evil. We're getting slaughtered here. Let's see what happened here. Water buffalo, cow, unholy, gores the hammer dwarf in the head with the right horn, bruising the muscle, jamming the skull through the brain, and tearing the brain. Oh my god, the horror. Okay, this embark is too evil. We're, yeah, every one of my dwarves is dead. Yes, retract that last comment. I am not lucky at all. Hello, Super Flame. This is the second time now I've embarked in this area. And the second time I've gotten absolutely decimated by this unholy cloud. Wow. That sucks. But that's part of the fun of the game. You try and live through all these uh, hard uh, circumstances, and this one's just too excessively sinister hard. Oh, well. In that case, since I've already failed twice this, there's no way for me to... I don't want to like, uh, go through setting up an entire fortress again a third time. I'd say it's probably good to call it right now. I'm going to see if I can get a... Uh... I'm going to see if I can get another embark zone. Let me, let me create some... Uh, let's see here. My last two dwarves. Quick, into the muck. It will save us. Quick dwarves into the muck. Let's go. And there we go. That's the end of that. The settlement has crumbled to its end. Well, at least I now have some undead Alcazaths and such running around. Trollolols. Actually, no, it was DK Rag, and I can't remember what the other one was. Oh well, it'll be on the video. But either way, congratulations! You're now uh, you're now menacing undead wandering around the lands, trying to kill everybody in sight. But yeah, I guess that's uh, that's it. So yesterday I failed quite a bit, unfortunately, and today it seems like it's a repeat of that so joyous. Uh, tomorrow morning, of course, when it comes to, uh, oh god, what's it called? Oh yeah, when it comes to streaming the uh, classic gaming, I'm going to be uh, streaming it pretty early because I have to do a lot of stuff early in the morning and then uh, work later in the evening, so fun, fun. Uh, let's see, I started about 1.30ish, it's only 3, so it's going to be 
pretty short, so yeah, I guess that's good enough for now. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying, and hopefully I can find a uh, biome with a uh, necromancer, so I can do it with the tower, not with the horrifying freaking cloud of death. Uh, but anyway, have fun, everybody. I will see you all next time, and uh, yeah, peace, I suppose, as it were. Maybe less fails. We'll see.